This is the River Luger in East Ayrshire, not far from Cumnock. And the distance is Trinan Castle. Pronounced that way, but spelt Turingsian. One time it was also known as Crawfordston Castle, after a family who once held it. Dunley also once held Leaf Norris or Loch Norris Castle, which is where Dumfries House now stands. Only remains of the castle or a dovecot. This is Tringan Castle's unusual octagonal tower. This was a castle ancient that it had a, a wall completely surrounding a courtyard. At the far end, there was a, a great hall. Two sides of the castle were protected by a steep slope, but on the other sides a moat was dug. The remnant is here now, rather more substantial than it would have been as Lord Butte excavated and did some restoration work in the 19th century on this castle. This is an example of the steep slopes that run down. So here's the home below, and behind the trees is the River Luger. The castle had a complicated history of ownership. After the Crawfords came the Earls of Arran, the Boyds. After they were deposed, it passed on to the Ramses. For a while, Campbells held it. And then it passed on to the Crichton Stuarts, the Earls of Dumfries. It was theirs until they sold the estate, because it's included within the Dumfries House estate. The Earl of Loudon, in fact, still has a subsidiary title. Lord Trinan. The tower has a splayed base to it, and as we've seen, it's made from good quality, well dressed sandstone. The moat on the north facing side.